yeah hello good day guys you welcome again to my channel and i am joshua the designer i create amazing content on structural engineering and civil engineering designs at large and um i would like that you use the like button like our videos and subscribe to our channel as we we'll keep giving you amazing content all through so that you can get better with engineering designs yeah so today i'll be taking you through a very simple tutorial on how to detail your slabs with product structure how to go about your slab detailing with product structure and um, up till this point i have shown several tutorials on product structure starting from how to model completely our structure from the scratch how to have your foundations and i did different kind of foundations i showed you how to run your analysis and how to have your design results and you can do well to check through our videos on our channels and see how you can add up to your knowledge and whatever complications and whatever issues you have along the line do well to use the comment sections um, to ask your questions and i'll be right there to give you all that you need yes yeah, so straight into what we have today i want to show you how you can go about your slab detailing with protest structure yes yeah, so fine let's go now this is a story floor that is a slab arrangement as we can see and this is what we want to do we want to detail this particular slab now before we can run our detailing we are we are to provide slab strips and with this slab strip it can help us to provide our reinforcement in the slab okay so this is what we call the slab strip where you see my cursor slab strip so by the time you click it you have that box now you can see that we have on this general we have direction x direction and y direction and we have type of strip we have the analytical strip we have the fe strip we have the manual strip and we can see that we have different kind of options here now this kind of options are start at end is referring to the condition the boundary condition of where you want to position your strip so at start the condition could be that you have a continuous this one means that you have a continuous um your slab is continuous over the beam support this one means that your slab is beginning at the edge of a discontinuous beam that is at the beginning of your slab or most most um, times this occurs at your perimeter um, beams so this one is for cantilever when you have a cantilever slab you can apply this so the same thing goes with this when your slab runs over a beam support or whatever support it is and this one is when your slab starts from a discontinuous end of a beam and this one is for your cantilever slab okay so we know how to we know what this represent now uh, so before we can go ahead you can choose to have your x direction first so by the time you click on that and you select the conditions that um, you want to have your strip with so i am having it at start i'm having it because i want to create a slab strip from this particular end down to this particular end which means that um, there is a boundary for my slab already so i have a an edge here and the other here that's what i want to do so i click this edge then i hold down to my control key to align this line you see what it becomes now when i hold down my control key so you hold on to your control key and that is how you can have a straight slab strip then you can you can click when you are there now you see that i have this already on that particular um, line so i can do that for this also 
sure you hold down your control key so that you can have a straight line so that's what we have and also you can do that for these then you have you have this okay that is cool that is on x axis and when you are done you can switch the direction to y axis then you click from here down to now you discover that i have a cantilever slab here so that means my condition here cannot work for this axis this direction so what i'm to do now is to switch my direction to switch uh, my condition rather so what i would either apply is to apply the start to be this and the end to be this or i decide to start with a discontinuous end then i would use this then that means i'm going to have a two-way two-way um, process okay so let me go with this one i just selected the start is a discontinuous end and with at the end is a continuous over a beam support so let's use that so i click outside the box here i hold down to my control key to have a perfect line so then i drop it here so that's because i'm picking this so I, because it's similar to this also i can do the same thing And also similar to this, I can do the same thing. Then I can switch my condition now to have at start and at finish to be a cantilever. Since I stopped just here, I stopped when the slab is continuous over this beam support. Then I have a cantilever here. So at the start, I can start here. Then, and I hold down to my control key for a perfect line. So I do the same thing for this one since they are similar and I can do the same thing for this one being similar. Okay, so you can see the reinforcement are there already. Now, what about for these two other strips that I haven't drawn? So I can have my beginning and my end condition fixed there. Then Y direction, I click this and I have this already and also I do the same thing for this one and I have this already so I've created all that I need on this and you can see that the reinforcements are there already y12 at 250 as you can see y12 at 250 as you can see this y12 at 250 respectively as you can see now but this doesn't guarantee that you have designed your slab you only provided a slab strip so in order to create a design for your for your slab now what you what you have to do is to look at this look at this you see that it gives me arrange steel bar so by the time you click arrange steel bar you can update steel bars so by the time you update steel bars it tends to update the bars that it provided at default and trying to check if the bars provided is sufficient enough to support um, the slab and so the design process is on so at the end of design process you see that uh, it will either tell you it, it would have corrected the slabs and the, um, the reinforcement rather now that is just update the steel bars but then to run a perfect analysis for your slab and design what you do is you come to the slab strip and you right click then it will bring out these options so what you now do is slab use slab analysis and design click it so it gives you an option again check design do not modify existing steel it means that you just want your product structure to check your design and that the process should not modify it should not alter the reinforcement that you are having presently you don't want the process you're about to do to alter the reinforcement you have on your plan as we, as it is but at the end of the process it's going to generate a report for you telling you whether what you have is sufficient or not 
So the next one you said check design. So in this option, it says only reselect insufficient steel bars. So it's not going to alter the bars that are sufficient. It's just going to reselect those ones that are insufficient. Okay, so the third one says delete and reselect all steel bars. That is to say it will remove, eliminate the ones that we have presently and create a new one that fits it according to the program of this software. Okay, so um, I would like to use check design, only reselect insufficient steel bars. Then I will design. Okay, so the process is on. So at the end of this design, what I expect is to have a design report um, stating to me how satisfactory the design is or how sufficient the reinforcements are. Okay, so let's wait for what I just said now. So right now you're seeing the slab reinforcement design. So, and from here I see sufficient, 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 sufficient. So you see that my reinforcements all are sufficient for the slab design. Okay, so that's simply how to go about your slab designs on product structure. So, in case you'd like to have questions around all that I've just shown to you, you can use the comment section and I'll be right there to give you an answer to all that you require. Ensure you like the video and subscribe also. Do well to share with your colleagues that should get better with structural engineering. And also, you may like to check through our other tutorials on how I inserted these beams. Of course, I did tutorials on how you can insert your insertion options. So it is important that you insert your slab properly so that you'll be able to get uh, the desired result. Okay, so in the next tutorial, um, I'll be showing to you how to generate how to generate reports for all your structural elements. Okay, so thank you very much for staying around. We'll see you next time. Bye.